Our world is turning up unusual, amazing creatures daily. Ah, uh, look at those teeth. He wants to get a piece on you. <laughs> good thing the internet is here to capture them all as they pile in. And good thing the Supreme is here to filter them to you. This is a uh, crab eater skull from the Antarctic. From spiders with spears to shrimp with tasers, here are 15 unusual animals that are hard to believe are real. <laughs> Number 15. Albino horses. Albinism is the absence of any pigmentation or coloration. It can occur in many animals, plants, even humans. Snakes, cows, birds, your poinsettia. Albinism is everywhere. Some just have a terrible case of mistaken identity. There is a great deal of debate in the equestrian world surrounding albino horses. With a little research, you'll realize that there are no known albino horses as of today. This leaves experts to believe that horses are one of the only creatures on the planet that isn't affected by albinism. There are white horses that are often confused or mislabeled as albinos. Generally, what people thought was albino was actually a doubling of the cream dilution gene. As its name implies, it dilutes the horse's coat to a shiny white color with light skin. Its eyes are still black though, meaning the pigmentation is still present, just of a grayish white color. It's also important to note that in albinism, even the eyes are vacant of pigmentation. Real albino creatures have a pink reddish eye. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Assassin spiders. Great, I finally get over my fear of spiders and in comes rolling this nightmarish creature. 165 million years ago, there lived this little spider. Looks more like a cute fuzzy pelican than a creepy crawler, huh? Don't let those adorable looks deceive you. Measuring as a grain of rice, this little guy scurried beneath the foliage in the leafy parts of the jungle. Today, there exists upwards of hundreds of types of spiders just like this guy. These spiders aren't like most spiders. Most make a web to capture their prey. These assassins aren't waiting around for its next meal. They'll use beak-like pincers to shoot out and impale their prey. This guy has no need for poisons or toxins. When one of their pincers goes out, it's with deadly accuracy and intent to kill. They've gotten bigger since their grain of rice sized forebears, making them all the more terrifying. Is it just me? Or when something is deceptively cute, aren't they usually terrifying? Number 13. Albino snakes. This lady gray snake may look albino, but if you've been paying attention, you should be able to determine why it's not. Native to Australia, they're usually dark brown in color. Because of its mutation, it's been immediately removed from its enclosure for its own safety. When other snakes of the same species don't recognize it, it's threatened within such a small enclosure. A real albino snake is rare. There is a closely related condition called leucism, where animals have a slight near invisible pigmentation, save for their eyes. This is actually pretty common in snakes, from pythons to cobras. Almost every type of snake can be subject to either mutation. As you might have guessed, albino snakes are rarer than lucidic snakes, so if you're trying to scoop one up as a pet, be prepared to shell out some dough. Not to mention that extra care is required to keep them healthy. Number 12. Glaucus atlanticus, the blue dragon. These terrible little demons can absorb the venom from its preferred meal and redirect it into an even more potent sting. This fantastic looking creature is actually a slug and one of the deadliest in the world. You can find them in the water or on the beaches feeding off the gelatinous remains of jellyfish. If you've never been walking the coast barefoot and stepped on a jelly, it's an indescribable pain. Depending on the size and shape of the jelly, of course. On a day where many jellyfish are scattered about the beaches, you may find these striking blue slugs feasting upon them. The jellyfish venom is harmless to them and stored as a weapon of their own. You heard that right, these guys can store the venom and deliver a sting 10 times more potent than its original delivery. That's life threatening, even with some mild venoms. Once again, their majestic appearance tells of wonder and fantasy, hence the dragon in its name. Also implied by its name are a sense of danger and searing pain. 
right? By all accounts, when it comes to the little demon of the sea, either that or no one has tried throwing a pokeball at it to tame the wild blue dragon. Number 11. Four-toed Jerboa. This nifty little guy is the four-toed Jerboa. The Jerboa, also known as the four-digit rodent, like others, are small, adorable, hopping rodents with large rabbit ears and a long, stringy tail with a feathered tip. I bring attention to its tail because it's a vital role of support when the Jerboa is standing upright or dashing across on open field. They have long hind feet and short forelegs, providing a spring-like motion in their hops to build speed off the resulting momentum. Where the four-toed Jerboa differs from all the rest is the extra digit present in their hind limbs. It provides for heightened feats of agility. Compared to the other digits, the extra provides a small added amount of dexterity in terms of the nuances that go into its hop. It's enough to help them break the ankles of predators that stalk them, so to speak. Number 10. The Binturong Let me ask you a question. What has a face like a cat, a body like a bear, a tail like a monkey, smells like buttered popcorn, and is referred to as a bear cat, but isn't related to either? Meet the Binturong. These fantastic creatures have stocky bodies covered with coarse black fur. Though they are a carnivora member, they mainly eat fruit, only hunting for meat when times are desperate. They're currently classified as a vulnerable species and have seen massive population declines of more than 30% in the last 30 years. You are too cute. Deforestation and habitat devastation are the leading causes of its sharp spike. These majestic creatures mostly keep to themselves. In fact, their intense secretive nature has left them all widely under-researched. They have only just begun to study these creatures to the full extent. Some exciting trails have been revealed, such as their strange attraction to the strangler fig and their incredible prehensile tails. The tails grow to be as long as their bodies, effectively doubling their size. It's also the only known old world mammal to spot such a great tail. Number 9. Green Sea Slug Ever heard of something outside of plant life that feeds off of sunlight? I present to you the green sea slug that appears more like a leaf than a slug. Turns out there's a far greater purpose for that than just camouflage as experts first suspected. Heck, you may have seen these fantastic creatures but they were so well blended in you never noticed. Even experts only have just recognized their existence and their superpower. After decades, experts have finally found evidence proving emerald green sea slugs take genes from the algae it eats to perform photosynthesis, precisely like a plant. This means it can get all of its nutrition it needs from sunlight, allowing it to survive without any other food for months at a time. If not indefinitely, this fantastic discovery defies all scientific understanding of this process. They even go to say that there's no way on earth that genes from an algae should work inside an animal cell, and yet here they do. They allow the animal to rely on sunshine for its nutrition. So if something happens to their food source, they have a way of not starving to death until they find more algae to eat. What baffles them further is when and why this evolution took place. Have the slugs of today become more reliant on the sun, thus evolving more recently? Or is the mechanism an archaic source of nutrition from an ancestor that has no surviving method? Scientists worldwide are closely studying them to answer those very questions. Number 8. Umbonia spinosa These terrifying insects of the jungle are more commonly referred to as tree hoppers. If there were a competition for the world's weirdest insect, tree hoppers would easily have a shot at the title. When you first see this bizarre insect, the same questions often populate in humans. What are those spiky protrusions sprouting from its body? Turns out both fashion and defense. The individual personality of the insect determines what it sports. Many tree hoppers flaunt outlandish outcroppings such as propeller-like orbs or spines. Others play it shy, mimicking thorns, leaves, or even other insect poop. There seems to be no end to the innovation in the Spinoza fashion. Some have even been discovered impersonating other insects such as ants and even wasps tree hoppers could be considered the creative kids in the family. Their unique pronotal arches in distorted spires or globes, fingerprints of their individuality. Number 7. Dingaso 
It was only 2009 when the world first got its first footage of the elusive creature, and we're still no closer to understanding them than we were back then. Though this cute little guy has been classified as a tree kangaroo, it's deceiving because trees are often the last place they can be found. The species name means the forbidden animal in Moni. This local indigenous tribe knows best how to find these fantastic creatures. This is also one reason why the animal has remained in a healthy population and common in the West. They're protected by the Moni people. I wouldn't want to be the guy strolling through the jungle to come across a Moni who thinks you're trying to harm their forbidden animal. Something that's forbidden often comes with harsh punishment, and I can't imagine the tribesmen caring for a fair trial. For the Moni, each soul of an ancestor returns in the form of a dingaso. So to them, they're literally defending their family members. Number 6. The Stink Bird The Hudson bird of the Amazon basin loves to eat leaves. It's one of the few species of birds that can eat an entire diet of vegetation. These types of animals are called folivores. It also has a more standard, harsher name, the Stink Bird. The stink reeks of fresh cow manure and old hay. It's not some pheromone for mating or poor hygiene. No, the stink emanating from this bird comes solely from its diet. Leaves are incredibly nutritious. Because of this, the bird has a unique digestive system to process the enormous quantity of foliage required to survive. These immense fibrous leaves are devoured in mass quantities and keep the engine running at peak performance. Unfortunately, there is a nasty byproduct of all that energy production. The waste this bird can create is astronomical and often carries on the wind for miles and miles. The unique digestive system comes fitted with a food storage pouch near its throat that serves as a fermentation chamber. Inside are bacteria that begin breaking down the food tissue. It digests its food insanely slow. A meal can take up to 45 days to pass through their system. This is why these birds often appear lazy and useless. 80% of their day-to-day -day life is loafing around and digesting all those leaves. Number 5. Emperor Tamron this little monkey has a rocking stash. That hairdo is certainly an emperor status. No, seriously, it got its name from the German emperor Wilhelm II. The emperor tamarin is probably the most adorable species of tamarin and by far my favorite when you can rock a stash like that. This majestic primate sports a fine, silky gray fur laced with gold. Its tail is usually duller than the rest and is a reddish orange with a white underpart. Individuals of both genders generally look alike, so those stashes are equally epic and attractive for both sides. You can tell an emperor tamarin's age by the length of its mustache, but even when it's subject to the minuscule information we have about them, in addition to mustaches, some even sport beards that can grow equally as long. Needless to say, these little guys are certainly the most fashionably sensed when it comes to their hair. Number 4. The Whale Shark Whale sharks are the most massive shark. Actually, they're the largest of any fish alive today. It's hard to believe these massive beasts mainly feed on plankton, but when considered how much they can inhale at a time, it's equivalent to eating a bowl of rice for you. It's so huge! It's such a big pebble! Of all fish, they travel the most considerable distance to find food. And with a size like that, you can imagine how fast it can deplete a source of food. They're found in all the tropical oceans in the world. They're straightforward to spot with their white spotted coloring and enormous size. Though they are big, they're gentle. They're often referred to as gentle giants and are popular amongst divers and snorkelers. Their maximum size is still unknown, but some have been as large as 65 feet and weighed as much as two tons. To their credit and their knack for privacy, females have never been observed giving birth. Many have tried and all have failed. Experts believe the amazing creatures only rise to shallow depths to feed, then descend once more to depths of 1,000 meters or more, like so many others that call the darkness of those depths their home. Number 3. Blue-Footed Booby These large, distinctive birds can be found along the eastern Pacific coastline, where they often nest along the rocky coasts. Their name comes from the Spanish word bobo, meaning clown. One glimpse of them on land and their goofy namesake makes itself apparent. They look plain foolish. The most distinctive characteristics of the blue-footed booby is, well, it's blue feet. Those monstrous, vibrant blue feet aren't just for looks, however. Females are suspected of choosing males with brighter feet. 
Brighter feet often indicate the bird's overall health and condition and its capability for mating in tip-top shape. Also, good genes. Females are larger than the males and exhibit nowhere near the level of flamboyance of that of their male counterparts. Despite their clownish behavior on land, when these birds take to the skies, they're nothing short of exquisite. They're incredibly agile in the air and fly with grace and masterful execution. They can slice through the air with razor-like whips and drops. At dawn, these majestic birds take to the skies to a parade-like fashion in search of schools of fish like anchovies and sardines. They're also excellent fishermen and forage in massive groups, often in the upwards of 200 birds. Once the prey has been spotted, this masterful hunter folds back its wings like a transformer and plummets 40 feet into the water. Then it rockets back out, snatching up as many fish as possible with its vicious serrated beak. This marvelous display of flight and fishing is a stark contrast to the foolish and clumsy behavior of the booby on land. Number 2. Emerald Cockroach Wasp Wasps suck. I'm not sure of any good reason wasps, say for being part of a food chain, should even be around. I mean, there's a pretty good reason, but screw you wasps. Whether they're murdering entire hives of honeybees, aggressively attacking people on the streets, or turning other insects into zombies, wasps are among the most dangerous and aggressive creatures on earth. To solidify the horror that wasps actually are, the emerald cockroach wasp is here to give nightmare-inducing testament to the real potential for zombification. Using a unique chemical blend, it injects into the cockroach what renders the creature into a zombie and under the full direction from the wasp. The worst part of the whole thing is the cockroach is destined to become the live food for the wasp's young. Yeah, you heard that right. These wasps enjoy devouring their meal alive. Pretty standard in the animal kingdom, I know, but usually with a chance at escape. To remove one's volition, then subject them to immense pain before death is something reserved for the pages of Lovecraft or other horror writers. Number 1. Tiger Pistol Shrimp If you stick your head beneath the waves, you may hear crackling if you pay close attention. The mysterious sound can be likened to the snap, crackle, and pop of some iconic cereals. What was first considered another ambient sound beneath the water turned out to be much, much more. The sound was being created by the tiniest of shrimp, with the biggest of shocking surprises. The tiger pistol shrimp is the only shrimp equipped with a large claw that doubles as a stun gun. Believe it or not, that sound is so loud, numerous, and frequent that if you went and tried to hear it with the knowledge of its existence, you should be able to hear them clacking away. When these shrimps snap those massive claws, they can stun a predator from up to a foot away. When considering the shrimp's small size, that's ample time and space to make an adequate getaway from a disoriented predator. In addition to self-defense, clicking it also is the way they communicate. A few clicks here or there could mean safety or danger. One massive loud click is the gun discharge sending a warning to all nearby shrimp of the danger. There are fascinating creatures here on Earth, with more and more being discovered every day. If something isn't discovered, a creature is reclassified, a trait is fully understood, or a species is finally observed in the wild. Our ideas and notions of the creatures that inhabit our world change with them, proving time and time again that nature is much more intertwined than we'd first suspected, and suspect even now. Who knows what mysterious creatures and their extraordinary abilities will have discovered in 10 years. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.